What's up guys, welcome back to Hopman Uptech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to watchOS 8.1 betas, we now have the next beta update. And as you can see here, it's watchOS 8.1 beta 4. This comes after one week since the release of watchOS 8.1 beta 3. And I have it here on my Apple Watch Series 6. And I'm updating from beta 3. And you can see that the update size came in at exactly 150 megabytes. And this is the developer beta. So if you're waiting for the public release or the public beta phone, then I would expect that as early as tomorrow. Now, obviously, this is not all that Apple released today. If we go to the Apple developer website, as you can see here, you can see some other updates that came out. We have macOS Monterey beta 9. We have iOS as well as iPadOS 15.1 beta 4 that came out today. And of course, watchOS 8.1 beta 4 and tvOS 15.1 beta 4. Now, if you go to my YouTube page and you go to the community section, you can see some other updates that came out that aren't listed there. So we have audio OS 5.1 beta 4 that came out and we have macOS Pixel 11.6.1 release candidate that came out. So most of these updates I'm going to be covering here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. It is what I do every day. So if that is something that interests you and you want to stay up to date with Apple software updates and many more, then a sub to the channel would really be appreciated. Now, if we go into my Apple Watch, we want to be able to see the software change that came with this update so if you go into settings and then go to general and then go to the software update you can see I've already updated and if we go to the about you can see that we have a new build number when it comes to watchOS 8.1 beta 4 and the build number that came with this update is 19R 5566A. So now we have a build number that has an A at the end. And in terms of stability, you know that this, is, this means good news. And previously, just to compare with how big of a jump we took, previously on beta 3, we had a build number that was 19R5559E. So we went from an E to an A. And in terms of stability, A tends to be the most stable before a release candidate. So we took about four steps, which is a big jump, but it just goes to show that when it comes to watchOS 8.1, we are getting closer and closer to the official release. Now, when it comes to what's new with this update, I would say that when it comes to like beta 4 to be specific, there isn't much that changed when it comes to when it comes to watchOS 8.1. But if you were to go to your iPhone and go to your Apple Watch app right there, let's give it a minute a minute to load. And as you can see there, if you go to all watches right there and try to add a new watch, now this screen has been added and you can see that it shows that this update is compatible with Apple Watch Series 7 right there. So this is the like if you were to unpair your existing Apple Watch and add it again, this is the screen that you are going to see. So that is the first change. And also, since the Apple Watch Series 7 that we are talking about, it actually removed the port that allowed you to do diagnostics on your Apple Watch. So just to show you, if I was to remove my band right here, let me go ahead and remove this band right there. So right here, if you have an Apple Watch Series 6 or older, you actually have a port that is used for diagnostics. And if you were to do a beta update on your Apple Watch and it gets stuck into a boot loop or it gets bricked, then you can always try and revive it using this port. But for the Apple Watch Series 7, this port has been removed. So there's code in watchOS 8.1 that supports, you know, like some sort of wireless dynamic uh, data transfer that will allow Apple to be able to restore apps once they have been crashed. So it just makes it harder for you to be able to reset your watch in, in case something was to happen. So that is a change that I noticed with this update. But other than that, if we were to go to the release notes of watchOS 8.1, there isn't a lot that 
change so let's go to watchOS 8.1 release notes here it does give us hope that the re official release is coming up very soon because as you can see here when it comes to watchOS 8.1 release notes we only have one known issue that has to do with core data NSE expression will immediately forbid certain operations that will have significant side effects like creating and destroying objects that is uh, related to core data as you can see right there and that is the only known issue most of the bugs and issues that were there when it came to watchOS 8.1 beta 3 have been resolved so if you are having issues when it comes to like focus and you were like enabling focus and it wouldn't like go into a focus other than do not disturb that has been resolved and also if you're having issues with your watch slowing down or freezing and so on so that issue has also been resolved most of the issues besides what you saw with core data has been resolved when it comes to watchOS 8.1 so this update gives us hope that the official release of watchOS 8.1 is just around the corner since the Apple Watch Series 7 is being shipped sometime this week we've already seen videos from those that get the product early so this is a good update and it's good that there isn't actually a lot that changed and apple is focusing more on making this update more secure like what they usually do before they release this to the public so that is what changed with this update not many as you can see but in terms or in case you wanted to know what watchOS 8.1 brings it does bring some uh, new U1 changes when it comes to the wallet app so you can now add support for Genesis vehicle and use car keys by means of watchOS 8.1 and also it fixes an issue that had to do with unlocking your iphone using your apple watch and quite other new features and changes that i'm going to be covering in the official release video of watchOS 8.1 now other than that that's how it came in for me if we go into settings and go to see the battery let's see whether it dropped i haven't checked it before so you can see that at about 12 that's when i charged this to 100 percent and you can see right here that at the pro present time it's almost five so that's almost like five hours of usage and i've lost about 21 percent so uh that is not quite good it's actually draining quick i guess it's because you know i've been using it trying to see whether there is anything i could find in weather and in other apps and in now playing and so on most of the apps i actually closed but you can see i used about 20 21 percent in about five hours so if we go to the battery out there you can see that it's still on 91 percent and before updating on watchOS 8.1 beta 3 it was on 91 percent so no change in that aspect now when it comes to performance other than what you saw i wouldn't say there is many like changes or bugs that i'm experiencing i'm yet to uh, tell you so from the few five hours or so that i've been using this update i would say that you know it's been pretty smooth overly when it comes to podcast when it comes to twitter notifications that i get like crazy and so on and other than that that's how this update is for me when this update could officially be released let's open the calendar app rather and see the date today so as you can see today is october the 13th and now that we have watchOS 8.1 beta 4 i would expect that since we have an apple unleashed event for apple silicon m1 x max or m2 or m2 x max on the 18th of october then i would expect this update to be released sometime next week so maybe on the 18th after the apple event concludes we could get watchOS 8.1 release candidate and then a day after that or two or maybe even on the 21st we could get 
watchOS 8.1 being released to the public and to all supported devices. That's my rough expectation and what Apple sometimes has done in the past. So hopefully we do get this update soon and you can enjoy some of these features and changes and overly better stability for your device. Now that's about it for me. If you like this video, please leave a like and stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video. Peace.